right, so we're in now round two of the SWAC Esports Tournament. So maps are going to be changing up of where we're going. So overall, we've got a couple of bracket. We have a bracket here. So round one looks like it was Team Private Profiles that won in round one. No quarter losing to the Law Abiding Citizens. Now we're in round two. So each team has to play each other, which is why there's so many different rounds. So each team is playing each other twice. So that's why we've got Team Private Profiles going up against no quarter at this point. So we'll see what's going on. And it looks like we're just we about ready to this. start. Yep, Here we're going to we move to go. this next match. And it looks like Oasis is going to be the map we're going to. And what's fun is, since I haven't played this game for a long time, I just discovered that I can name the teams in here. So they're no longer going to be called like Team 1 or Team 2. They're actually going to be the teams that we're playing. So the control point looks like is going to be in this nice little garden area. So there's a couple of different ways to approach this one. I think each team is coming from a spawn point, which is basically the identical ways you can come. But you can go through that way. We just want... We just flew over, so straight ahead. Or there's a little w zone on the left that you can come through. So that zone on the left actually goes through some buildings and then comes up behind the teams. But what you don't realize is there's a first and second level. So there's this upper balcony that you can be hiding on or putting a turret on if you're Torbjorn or Bastion. It's definitely always advisable to try and control the high ground. I expect a lot of the, some of the battles going to be right out here in the front courtyard. Mm -hmm. See what they've decided to bring to the table this time. So it looks like Team Private Profiles is going to be profiles coming blue over here this time side. around. Looks like they've got a Doomfist that was so cr crucial for them in their stomp the last game. Uh, we'll see if... Uh, they're able See to do something to, and to keep their momentum going. To be quite as commanding as they were in that first first round. Doomfist doing some pretty good strikes right there at the beginning. It looks like their uh, Roadhog has got pretty low, but he's healing back up now. Yep. And then there you it's got the hamster there swinging around that post. Hard to say who's uh, winning this fight, actually. It's a brawl. It's but literally Mercy goes everybody's down. there. Mercy goes down. Genji goes down. Uh, Genji, I'm trade. not so worried about. Mercy going down means your healer just died. They've got two healers on their team and a Roadhog, though. They've got a lot of healing. Um, but Mercy is that dedicated healing line. Private Profiles, Warthog, or uh, Roadhog gets his, uh, his ult really fast and clears the point. Oof, there we go. Well, it's still lightly contested. Oh. Well, there there goes the Doomfist ult to take out the uh, the Tracer, and they have the point. And now they're going to push forward into the it's enemy's a, spawn it's area. A dead mercy there, too. Genji's up here forward. They're going to try and keep them bottled up here and not let them back on the point at all. That's what you want to do, because now you're pushing off Moira one ult area. is coming through here, doing a lot of damage, but it's not quite enough. And Private Profiles losing two people there. Oop, three people in that exchange. So that's going to allow No Quarter to push forward into the point and contest it. No Quarter's certainly putting up a fight. They've got a lot more people on point right here. Mm -hmm. The Hammond ult comes down and immediately kills somebody. And that's going to just zone out some players there because Absolutely. now they can't play over there. And they, they take it. There you go. Point control changed. No Quarter now with the advantage. It's like see. Doomfist is creeping up over here, but Ooh, uh, he could be. He's look, maybe looking for a, a good opening to get in there. Yeah, it looks like no. Genji Hamster's just going to keep side. rolling around in circles there around that post. That's what Hammonds are best at. Does that That's build up his ultimate meter by it doing does that not, spinning? Unless unless he's doing damage, it does not. Tracer's in here. Moira's in here. They're they're brawling on the side of the thing. Oh, the Genji ult comes in huge, takes out two. Ooh, and Hammond just rolling around again. Just zoning people off of the majority of the point. Got a Roadhog battle going on right there. But it's still it's still advantage. Uh, oh, it looks like barely an advantage to uh, no quarter. No quarter. 
No Quarter's Hammond is just having so much fun on yeah. this point. And No Quarter pushing them all off the point. So and that's just a route right there. Oof. No Quarter hold on to the point, and they're starting to get a healthy, uh, healthy lead. Good healthy lead, as they've got, what, like 30% now over? Yeah, just about right now, actually. So there we go. No Quarter now taking the advantage so it's really up to team private profile you can see you can see the difference in their strategies private profiles immediately uh pushed out and tried to bottle them up in the spawn and uh no quarter on the other hand is content to just stay on the point mm -hmm. and just defend it because it's at this point if your hammond gets pulled no quarter you, you just got to hold this point and then kill everybody hammond hammond gets destroyed by the uh Road hoggle and they're pushing onto the point. The Lucio comes out, doesn't do anything. Yep, and we're going into overtime now. We're in overtime. If they can hold this, they win, but they're they've, they've got a six lot. to two on the point. I don't know if they can hold on to that. Nope, they're not gonna be able to hold on to that one. And now they just Hammond's gotta start throwing bodies at it. Hammond's doing his best. He throws down the minefield, immediately gets one. No, no. My bad. He got killed. He gets gets killed by uh so point control goes over now to uh, private profiles. Private profiles cleared out those mines and they've got control of the point. They can't really afford to give it up. The uh, the tracer roll comes out, takes out McCree, and it looks like uh, private profiles are, are pushing out again, it looks like almost. Yep, although there is somebody back there on the point contesting Hammond. It. Hammond is just... But he's just going to die. Because he's all there by himself. So it's 71 to 99 percent. If uh, if no quarter can get control of this point again, they've got five people on this point. That's where the overtime comes into play. It can really change the course of the game in they overtime. Get a, if they get a clean sweep. They've got a they've got a kill. They've got a kill. Moira kills Moira. So that's a healer down. But oh. It looks like a lot of their they're still there, but oh my goodness! Ninety-three percent. They've, right they've there. got a. They they don't have time to do this. No, it looks this is like not, most I think of their team just got wiped out. I think that's it for private profiles. I think they just take it. Yeah, mm -hmm. private profiles reverse, taking that one. Whoo! The reverse. That sweep was quite there. the match right there. So winning in overtime in that first round is team private profiles. So this is going to be the second battle of this one. And so this point is indoors. Yep, but there's as you can see, a there's a lot of ways into it. There's a hole there in the middle. It doesn't count when you're on the bottom of that, though. Only this not. top area. And but so the spawn points are out the sides here. And now this map is particularly interesting. There's a lot of places where you can actually get knocked off. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. I was just thinking that about the middle of the point there, because if you charge in, you can actually knock the opposing team down into the underground area. You can, and they can't contest from down there, but there is actually a health pack right down in there. So a lot of the damage is going to be dealt out in this area. So it looks like, uh, as you can see, one of private profiles are pushing onto the point. Yep, one of no quarters players falling down in the middle. And Hammond is going to not have quite as much use here, as you can see with uh, nope, that swing. Nope, there's no spots to really attach to and just spin. He's in here sort of all alone. He's going to get taken out here shortly, I think. Unless he can roll away. Look, at here he comes back. He, he is distracting them a lot, and he's contesting the point the whole time. Yep. Uh, but but when eventually, he off, as soon as he got off, they, they got a hold of it. So. so private profiles now with control of the location. Got we'll to control have to see that if, objective. Uh, if they can take it back or not. And now they're going to push Road forward. Road goes down. They're pushing, pushing with the Roadhog ult toward, uh, Enemy toward spawn, the spawn yep. point. And as you push forward, it also allows you to cut off locations where folks are able to go. That's true. The disadvantage, though, to pushing forward is that you're placing yourself closer to their spawn. Mm -hmm. And so their respawn and their reinforcements are right there. Are right there. So you, you're giving yourself less and less time to reset after a fight. And so that could be a bit of a disadvantage. On the other hand, if you can bottle them up mm -hmm. and keep them away from the point at all, then 
they just you just can't uh, can't fight it. Yep, I have played some matches back in the day when I still played, where I got trapped into my spawn point because we just couldn't coordinate as a team, and we all just died. And that's that's really the key is you've got to coordinate when you push. And it looks like uh, private profiles have a really firm grip on this point. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if. Um, um, all of the control, all of all of the healing. If they can they, take it back. They've got to get there. There's a Hamidol down. Hamidol over about half of the half of the point. So what's going on here now is they're really pushing for it as we got a contested Tracer point. Tracer ult misses, but Oof. they managed to cut off uh, Roadhog and drop him down. This. Uh, Doomfist, Doomfist has right been doing there. so much work, and they get the point at 95%. Let's see if they can take take the match, just like uh, just like they got the, had the it happen against them. To, yeah, if they can turn private, this around. Yep, private profiles did that just last game, where they took the point at 99% rather than 95, and took the match. So right now, it's all no quarter, just holding on to that point. And it looks like uh, Private Profiles is just grouping up for yeah, their next That's uh, what you want to do. You don't want to push in piecemeal. Because if you push in piecemeal, like one, two, three people at a time, you're just going to keep dying because there's five people holding that point, maybe six. And they're they're pushing in the corner. I don't I don't know if that's a great idea. Hammond is really great in those narrow halls. But Doomfist is huge. Again, the ult takes, takes one. And Lucio takes another. Doomfist takes a third. And I don't know if... I don't know, Ooh, if, I don't know uh, if no quarter can hold no on to this one. Hold on to this. That, Hamid that makes four. Comes out. Hammond ult comes out again, but I don't. I don't think it's enough. No, that's they're just clearing. They're clearing the the mines, and there it is. There goes that one, and that's going to be the last three seconds. I, I don't think they can get back to the point to contest, and indeed nope. they can. not That's going to do it there. So team private profiles. They are going to win the first round against no quarter in this best of three. So Doomfist having the play of the game. Oof, that was quite all. And oh. this poor Tracer didn't even know it yeah, was coming Yeah, that was a her. great play there by Doomfist. So the first map win going to Team Private Profiles. And then we're gonna go to the second map here in just a moment. And the next map that we're going to be playing is different than Oasis. We're actually going to be playing on a different one. <laughs> so new bond, I cannot say that one correctly. Numbani gonna be the next map that we go to. All right, so private profiles now up in this series of three by one against no quarter. And Numbani is an, an assault escort map, so it'll be an interesting. Uh, change from mm -hmm. from just basic point control yep so you see the shot of both of the teams there playing on these fancy machines from MSI it's quite wonderful so they're gonna and they're gonna take like a minute regroup uh, potentially strategize and then we're gonna just launch in to the next round here in just a moment As you can see, our SWAC Esports Stadium, as I'm going to call it, the Hale Center for the Performing Arts, as others will call it. I like to think it's our Esports Stadium, though, because, you know, it's really pretty. It is really pretty. So all the players just making sure they are set and ready. 
So we're and it looks like rolling. we're just about ready to get rolling into this. Yep, so we're going to roll into round two, Umbani. which is map two of this best of three series. So this is, again, a payload map. As you can see, the payload is just right there this time around. And so the attacking team will have to capture the point that will appear around this in order to get that payload rolling. And then they will have to guide that payload all the way to the end of the map to win. Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, Team No Quarter is going to be on the offensive this time around. Unless I'm totally wrong on that one. And this is where the attackers will be coming from. Yep, so a couple of buses to make it past. But again, those buildings are just side buildings. So they can hide in there, come from those angles, and attack differently. So it's going to be on the offensive is indeed uh, no quarter this time around. And private profiles are going to be defending. Usually you just set up defense right here on the, uh, the payload because they've got one... Well, they've got really two areas to come from. They can come from straight down where that red line is, or they can come over here on the right side. But the right side's got this cliff on the on the right of that where you can just fall off. So you usually want to put like a turret if you've got a torb Torbjorn going. So we'll see if uh, no quarter is able to make something happen coming up here. I've seen a lot of uh, pro teams, they like to take the high ground and just hold on to that and shoot down on anyone who tries to take the point. And it's a good strategy. Private Profiles takes the first blood right there with uh, McCree picking off a, uh, a Lucio. And it looks like... Uh, oh, they're going to be coming up the side. They're coming up the side and Private Profiles are ready for them. Private Profiles again. There's a third choke point right there on the side, uh, in within that building right there. You're They've able got to the come monkey up. out here too. I think they're trying to, they might be trying to knock people off the edge with that old. That's what you want to do, because if you fall off the edge, you die. That's literally it for you. No coming back. The only person that might be able to come back is Mercy using her ult to fly, or Farah using her jetpack. Or the monkey. He well, has yeah, Winston uh, is actually an ape. Thank you very much. Uh, a gorilla, not a monkey. <laughs> and he's able to jump really high with one of his abilities. Hammond's down here just saying hello to... Uh, and the monkey's asleep. Yep, you gotta watch out. I believe that must be an Anna on the other team. That is then. an Anna on the other team. And it looks like we've also got a... Uh, Symmetra, which is an interesting choice. Symmetra can be really good if you're defending on this map because you have to recover so much distance. Unless they, they reworked her to not have the teleporter pad. The They have reworked her several times. It's, it's hard to say what they've got right now. But I will say that uh, this first point right here, oh, Symmetra's doing some work. She's on the point. Nope, she's dead. She's alone, and that's She's never on, a good thing. No, nah, on the point alone, and Symmetra is not a tank. She is a squishy. So on this map, the attackers start extremely closer to to the uh, mm -hmm. point than the defenders do. As you can see here, I believe this is actually the teleport pad right here. Yep, that's the teleport and pad so right there. And so that will allow them to even close the distance from all the way from out here even faster. That's not very far, though. It's not a big jump. I'm not sure that's the best placement for that teleporter, mm -mm. but the teleporter is no longer her ultimate, so... Oh, okay, because I remember when I used to play, the teleporter was her ultimate, and you Hammond, basically... Hammond and Reinhardt go in and just die. That's terrible. You would set down that teleporter somewhere near the objective, but hidden, and it would s start you off in your spawn, and you could jump then from there. So it could be a different distance that they've played since then. Yeah, they've, they've definitely tweaked that particular uh, character a lot recently. Yep, so a minute, just over a minute to go before uh, No Quarter. No Quarter is trying round. to reset for another push, but it doesn't look like uh, they really want to let them. Uh, They're all fighting in this really enclosed area, and there's the, uh, there's the ult from, oh, there's the ult from, from Winston. And in this, these closed areas, Winston can just do so can much do damage. So much damage. And also, I think Soldier 76 just took out like three people. Soldier 76 is also a really high DPS character, and especially in a closed environment where he can get solid hits with his uh, rockets. Mm -hmm. 
Now when you say DPS, for those of us who don't know, that's damage per second. And you want to be able to have a high DPS or damage per second that you're able to put onto the other team. Hammond over here on the point drops his ult, but I don't know that it's really being very effective. Oh, you're definitely getting out on the, the point side. though, but Reinhardt's sort of alone. He's oh, not really getting Ham much done. He's Hammy's getting healed back though. up though. Hammond's here, but the the soldier ult comes in big and takes out two. One of those is the healer. Hammond's doing his best, but so we're in overtime. There he goes. The point and was contested. But that's, that's going to do it for that's that. the first round of this map. And that objective moved nowhere. Nowhere at all. Absolutely nowhere. So no tie as of right now. But that's That means that the first attacking team earned no points on their attempt. So literally and so as long as the next team can take this point, they over. will win the match. So, so let me show you where victory. the defenders spawn from. Defenders spawn all the way back So here. very far away. The this is why you want to try and kill your opponents on this one. Because that's one of the areas they're able to come out of. And and so every time someone dies, they have to run all the way back. So far away from the All the, the point. way back over here. And they can go either through the building there or up the street. If you go through the building, you'll come out in the back here. You can also take a path around the side up here. And this will get you onto the high ground, which is where a lot of teams like to try and make their defenses. Yep. Having just like one or two tanks on the low ground to hold the point while their DPS has a better angle for attacks. Typically, you have a better angle on an enemy when you're above them than mm -hmm. below them. Typically, what I would do when I was playing this one is I played Torbjorn. He was one of my favorite characters to play. I just put a turret up there. Torbjorn is great, especially with the turret up here. Yep, upgrade the turret to level two. They're not able to see it as well, and all of a sudden, poof, they're dead. So that's what you like to see. Uh, or you put a Bastion up there, because Bastion can just go engage bullet hose mode and eliminate the enemy, enemy team as they attack. They're setting up their defense way up here, right in front of the uh, enemy spawn. I don't know if this is a wise choice. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. For and them. Hammond is just being destroyed. Bold. Oh, no. Well, it looks like he actually got out of there. He lived. But they're pushing down. They're, so. they're backing up. They're, they're being smart about this. They are giving ground as they go. Yeah, private profiles sticking together, really, this time Hammond's around. Hammond's in the back, though, but he's alone, and that's just going to be him getting taken down yep. by the mercy of all things. And that's, that's not what you want to see, because Mercy's a healer. Mercy is a healer. And Mercy doesn't really have a lot of damage that she can put out. So it looks like they're playing with a couple of tanks. Team Private Profiles there. They've got Reinhardt and D.Va. So D.Va has the ability... That's a pretty good strategy. ...that she's able to take out opponent, opponents' uh, shots as they're coming forward. And Reinhardt's got a shield, so if she's able to take out stuff before it even hits a shield. Diva's ability is fairly, uh, whoa, that is a crushing victory for private profiles. They just, is that a team wipe? Uh, I think almost. that's a team wipe. I think that was nearly a team wipe. And that's just it. That's and It's just over poof. like that. Private profiles takes that round like it was nobody's business. So that's going to do it for map two. Private Profiles taking map two and map one. So, oh my goodness, just like that. Oh, Private Profiles. It was just too beautiful of an ultimate right and there. That right there is just. So, so we're going to take, take a, a look, look at the bracket. bracket here. So with Private Profiles winning that one, uh, Private Profiles takes down no quarter. They're able to secure another win. So no quarter falling in their first round as well as their second round. And Private Profiles, if I remember correctly, winning their first round as well as their second round.
private profiles are certainly showing themselves to be a force to be reckoned mm -hmm. with. Uh, It'll be interesting to see if anybody has what it takes to take them down as they are currently in the lead. Yep. So that's going to do it for this part of the stream. Uh, so this is how it's been break it, breaking out so far. So Team Private Profiles taking out We Who Shall Not Be Named. Team No Quarter falling to the law-abiding citizens, and then Private Profiles now taking down No Quarter again. So the next ones up are going to be the Sauce Bros and We Who Shall Not Be Named. So we'll be right back uh, with this stream, and we'll come back with a fresh stream right after this. <laughs> 